This is 14-year-old Will Kritniak's third summer at Excite Camp. You learn a lot during this whole week and the instructors are great and pretty much you can get any skill you want here pretty much. The Hunterdon County Vocational School District runs Excite, explore careers in technology and engineering. Kritniak spent one summer in culinary arts and another in automotive technology. Literally and figuratively, sparks flew for Kritniak in this program. I knew I wanted to do something with my hands, I just didn't know what yet. And now I found that. What did you find? I found that I like welding a lot and working on cars and with metal and machines. Find your own passion, and that's going to complement our economy and our nation. District Business Administrator Tanya Nelsnick says enrollment for Excite Camp has tripled, rivaling the demand for vocational education here that's led to a growing waiting list and highlighting a demand to add programs and more physical space. Vocational school districts are so critical to our, our economy, it's because we're doing the other end. We're teaching them and giving them the exposure to those jobs and options and then giving them the skill sets once they kind of hone in and figure out which what pathway they want to take. To educators, that success is being stifled across New Jersey because the equation needs more green. State lawmakers cooked up a bill to have November voters decide whether to borrow a billion dollars for schools, 400 million of that to expand Votec high schools. It is critical that we uh, receive this funding. I just spent a week in North Carolina looking at options there. Booming. The economic investments that are happening outside the state have to happen in New Jersey. Lawmakers have served the bill that also would upgrade school security and water systems to Governor Phil Murphy, and it awaits his action. But the manufacturing industry and the New Jersey Council of County Vocational Technical Schools say the demand and Votech schools in all 21 counties can't wait because technical jobs are going unfilled in New Jersey and one report says it's getting worse. We've got an exceptional county vocational technical school system, but unfortunately it's at capacity. Last year our schools turned away 17,000 students who wanted to come to a vocational school for career exploration and training. And we can't afford to be doing that in New Jersey. The bond bill sailed through the legislature with near unanimous approval. But with the state already $46 billion in debt, will voters approve putting the state another billion dollars in the hole? This is going to pay a return that benefits all of our taxpayers and benefits our state. Students will earn higher wages. Employers will be able to expand. At the same time, an investment in career and technical education is going to save taxpayers money on college debt. We have way too many students and families that are in debt for college tuition that they pursue without a real career plan. Let the voters have the say. Senator Steve Oroho is one of the sponsors of the Securing Our Children's Future Bond Act. I am concerned about that, but not all debt is bad debt. I mean, if you have a debt that has a high return on your investment, which education has a high return on investment. The challenge for advocates is, if the issue does go to the ballot, will voters see it as investing in children and the state's future, or will they put the brakes on growing the state's debt? In Flemington, Michael Hill, NJTV News.